Hello everybody and welcome to the demo for Little Known Galaxy. Now this is a game by Carbon and K and it's also self-published, little indie developers. And I thought I would give this a look for my Friday night demo. So let's jump in and see what this is all about. Farming in space, I think, of some description. So, in the near future, humans have travelled into the universe. Starships have expanded our horizons and have brought friendships to new galaxies. As a new captain in training, you've just been given your first assignment. To join a rundown starship orbiting a desolate grey planet. Your mission is to discover the secrets behind a mysterious relic found on the planet's surface. But with the ship falling apart and no clues left to investigate, the crew has lost hope of ever solving this mystery. It's up to you now, Captain. Oh, I'm a captain, am I? Nice. Remember to support your crew, follow your heart, and always take care of each other. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> I like it already. Always take care of each other. That's have accent ending to things, in it? Do take care. Hey there. Hello, CPU. I'm CPU, the handy-dandy charismatic central processing unit for this very ship. And what is your name? My name is Shilab. Sometimes Lady Shilab, but that doesn't seem right for a space thing. Captain Shilab, maybe. I am happy with this name. Welcome aboard, Shilab. What a great name. Don't be offended if I forget, though. I'm just terrible at remembering names. I'm not as good as I used to be at it, CPU. I used to be amazing. I used to remember, like, every single character in Naruto, every person I met, their kids, their dogs, everything. But now, sometimes I get things back to front. Sometimes I call... Sometimes I call Scott in Stardew Valley... No. See, I'm at it again. Uh, Scott in Coral Island. Sometimes I call him something else. Anyway. I can't remember. Oh, this ship has a name too. What was it again? Um, Shippy McShipface. Hmm, doesn't sound right. Hey, we'll just rename the ship together now. It is not going to be... It's going to be the Astral Sparrow because that was what I called my Empyrean ship. That those of you that did, I think if you dig around, possibly, I think maybe on the second channel somewhere, you might find the Astral Sparrow, Sparrow still like there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago, but the name was good, so we're going to go with it. Yes. Oh yeah, the Astral Sparrow. Now that's a name for a spaceship, all right. It's going to straight into the database. Also, I should store what you look like in my image files. I don't want to confuse you with other people or furniture on board. Furniture? Really? Body type. Masculine type, feminine type, I think. Um, skin tone. Ooh. Oh, we can have some funky colours too. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna do for eye colour. I'm gonna do purple eye colour as well. I think the grey's nice. Shirt colour! I'm actually gonna go with white because I think otherwise I'll have too much purple. With pink pants! Yeah! <laughs> this is so good. And a beard, no. <laughs> I don't want a beard, it's okay. You guys you guys can keep that and female dwarves and things. Um, right, so accessory. Have some glasses. We can have like a Geordie LaForge visor. An earring. Blush cheeks. Ah, full face of makeup. How cute. I like that. That's cool. <gasps> Elf ears! 
keeping those. Yes. Look at me. I'm awesome. I look like a little alien. It's so fun. Okay. Save. Yes. I look amazing. Looking great. Okay, let me show you around the ship now. She lab. Okay, let's go. Ta-da! Oh, my ship looks lovely. It reminds me of the ship in Dayland. Do you remember that right at the end? That's what that reminds me of. And I remember the name of that game. I'm impressing myself. <laughs> Welcome to the bridge. I look so cool. This is just one of the many deck levels on the ship. If you find yourself lost at any time, you can access a map of the ship in your space pack. I have a space pack. Okay. Here's the command center, including your very own captain's chair. You can use your captain's chair to navigate the ship to new destinations or check our progress while we're in transit. It's super duper comfy too. So just so you know, this game isn't out yet, but uh, I, I don't know when it will be either. It doesn't say on Steam. This elevator can be used to quickly move between deck levels on the ship. We have a lot of deck levels on the ship, including science and medical, crew quarters, recreation, cargo, shuttle bay, and the engine room. There's also the central plaza deck, sorry, which is perfect for socialising and shopping. We get to go shopping. What? Let's go to the plaza before the crew gets started with the day. So we have an amazing, massive ship that we're captain of. That's perfect. That's just what I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the plaza deck, the heart of our crew community. Okay. Oh, this is super fun. Here, Robert runs the general store for purchasing supplies and most things you'll need to keep the ship in ship shape. Oh, right, Robert is expecting you later. He wants to give you data on buying and selling items. But that can wait. On with the tour. General store. This is Chip's Canteen. You can grab a bite to eat or spend time with the crew here. Chip should be here soon to open the register and get things cooking. I hear the food is great, but the last time I tried it, Stuart had to recircuit my processes. Since then, he said I'm not allowed to join in anymore. So moving on, let's head down to the cargo and shuttle bay next. Okay, we have cargo and shuttles to deal with. Here we are, the cargo holds. Alright. Edward is our chief mechanic and runs the machine shop. It's a great place for upgrading your tools and buying mechanical things. You can also help with larger upgrades for the ship when you want to make improvements. Nice. The cargo comes in here. This path to our right leads to the shuttle bay, where your shuttlecraft is docked. Your shuttlecraft allows you to visit the surface of any planet we're orbiting. I think you're getting the sense of things, so let's head to your deck now. I have my own deck! Oh, <gasps> Captain Deck! Oh, uh, what?! Stuff to tidy! Woohoo! <laughs> this is your very own captain's deck. I love this game. It's located on the top of the ship next to the bridge. Uh, well, I guess it's a bit of a mess right now. This is just a lot of general wear and tear we're looking at here. Uh, we haven't had a captain stick around for a while now, so the area has seen better days. Anywho, now you're here, you'll have to spruce it up a bit. And last but not least, why don't we check out your new captain's quarters? Utterly adorable. This is my quarters. Welcome home. What do you think? Uh, it's nice and clean. You noticed I even had fresh sheets put on the bed. Well, feel free to get unpacked and check out your new digs. Just pop out of your quarters when you're ready to start the fun. Okay. Can I control my character now? We're ten minutes in. All right. So let's have a look. I've got storage. Oh, I've got recycled parts and a floor lamp. So I could maybe put my floor lamp somewhere. Oh, look, that's easy. And I really like the, the design looks really clean. Really nice. Well done, guys. All right. Storage bin must be empty before it can be torn down. Oh, so that would tear it down. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Email. I can call it email instead of mail on this game. Yay, because I always do that. Games with like a literal mailbox, a paper mailbox. I'm like, let's check our email. Okay, so Captain Assignment. We hope CPU has done a good job introducing you to your new surroundings. As you know, your assignment is to support your new community, repair your ship, and unlock the secrets to the mysterious relic. 
Supplying food and resources will be necessary to generate income, as well as taking time to improve your personal quarters and ship's community spaces. Life out in deep space can be a change of pace for some. Good luck, Space Alliance Headquarters. Piper, welcome aboard. Shelab, welcome aboard. Shelab, it is with great pleasure <laughs> that the entire crew welcomes you into our ship's community. We're so happy to have you join our ship and hope it becomes home for you as well. Thank you for joining our team and family, your crew. Okay, read my mail. So we've got missions. Visit the general store. And this is my space pack. Oh, I love it. I can click on everything and I don't have to remember 2,000 million different keybinds because I play so many different games and they're always different. It's fine if you play one game for a very long time. It's not so good. Well, not even then or sometimes, but it's not good if you're changing games all the time. I've got a calendar with some birthdays on it. So very, very stardew in space, isn't it? But I really like the way it's drawn. It's so clean looking. And it looks like when I then decorate, it's going to look nice. You know, like some games, you're like, I don't really want to decorate because like when I do, it just doesn't look good. This one, I think it will. So anyway, out to my messy outside. Sheila, I hope you're settled in and ready to get started. I know your deck has seen better days, so I thought you could use this. Ha! Handy restoration ray. I got a restoration ray. This tool can be used to clean up small damaged areas quickly. To use it, press left click and hold. Using tools takes energy, so keep an eye on your energy bar up here, I'm guessing. E. Um, and don't... Uh, yep, yeah, E. <laughs> and don't overexert yourself in one day. Give it a try for yourself and let me know if you have any luck. When you're done in here, head to the bridge next to... Sorry. Head to the bridge next to meet our docs, our senior sorry, science officer. She's been eager to meet with you too. Ity ho, science officer. So, damaged things. So, uh, it's equipped, I guess. Damaged area one. See Edward in the machine shop to repair. So, I'm guessing it's these small ones I can do with the ray. Um... Okay, so let's make a small area. Let's make a small area outside my home for my farm. <laughs> Upgrade the tool for those. Okay, so small things like little goopy piles, footsteps and small cracks are all good. Bigger things, not so much. And these bigger cracks, upgraded tool, and then I need to fully get those sorted out by the guy downstairs. Lovely to know. Okay, well, we've done a little bit of that, so let's go and see the general store person. Uh, where is the elevator? So there's like a path going across here. He almost stood on top of it. That is kind of super fun. What would be this? Is this the way down to... Oh, right. This is the airlock. Do you want to suit up and visit the outer hull? No, not right at the moment. But that is the airlock we have found. Lovely. Um, trying to find the elevator though. There's water here. H2O. What's up here then? That looks like it might be like some kind of way to sell things, take things away. Uh, what's in here then? Ah, this is the way to the elevator, I think. Kaida. Hello, Captain. I'm Kaida, Chief Science Officer and your second in command. I'm so glad you're finally here because I could really use your help. You see, things on board are getting a little out of control. Progress with our mission is not going very well. And the ship has been falling apart more and more every day. We even had to close some areas of the ship for safety reasons. The 
supposed to be losing patience and are starting to believe things will only get worse. As the second in command, I've been saying, sorry, staying motivated, but it's harder to inspire others. Why don't you go introduce yourself to the crew and see what you can make of everything? You can find details on the crew in your crew heart money tab, I guess, when you're ready. Come and find me once you've had a chance to meet everyone. Thanks, Captain. Talk to you soon. Okay, so once she's finished this dialogue, I'll have a quick look and see if I can find my my crew heart thing. Um, missions. Crew. Ah, it's heart smiley face. So it looks to me like um, Doc 12, the junior medical officer. Fiji. Jimmy. Lynn. Lauren, Max. Oh, wow. We get an android love interest. I like it. Robert is just a friend. Shinji. And Steven. So one, two, I think. I think it is anyway, unless I find out different. One, two three, four guys, and one, two, three, four, four guys, four girls, I think. Can't date CPU. <laughs> or the chef. It's always good to date the chef. Actually, no, chefs are crazy. <laughs> Map. The bridge, science and medical crew quarters, Zeno Park. Hmm. They have like a zoo on, on board, a Zen garden, recreation, cargo, shuttle bay, and engine room. So we've got seven levels to this place. And then the captain, oh, captain level. Wow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten captain levels. And I have got to keep the crew morale up while doing mission objectives, improving the ship producing things and doing research. Oh, wonderful. And then there's my settings. Okay, calendar for birthdays. All right, nice. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the, um, ooh, what was it? The plaza, I think, because we wanted to go to the general store. So off we go in the elevator. Why is, why is that sparkling? Spar sparkling? I found some scrap metal in the sparkles. Wonderful. Lots of like locked up places as well that you can probably open up. I'm enjoying this far more than I even thought I would. I, I downloaded it and thought oh, it looks quite cool, a little space game. But I'm I'm really liking how it looks and feels to play, actually. Uh, Captain, welcome aboard the Astral Sparrows General Store. My name is Robert. My son Jimmy and I are in charge of the supplies here. We carry many items for purchase that can be bought with ship credits. I can also find off-ship buyers for anything you produce or want to sell. Just bring me your items when I'm at the register. Oh, and that also reminds me. So no sell box, sell to the shops, I think. Jimmy! Where is that boy? Well, wait, I remember how to do it myself. Click, automatic door opening sounds. This here is Binbot. I'll send him to your deck each day to collect anything you want to sell there as well. Oh, there is a cell box. It's a robot cell box. Beep boop, hit help. Just put any items you want to sell into Binbot and he'll bring them to me every evening. Feel free to shop around before you leave. I'm looking forward to a prosperous working relationship. So it looks like we've got some seeds and things like that. So I'm guessing I can I can grow things. Alien crops and things like that. Let's have a little look then. So meet the crew. We've got 18 of them. And use the restoration ray to clean up 10 holes or garbage. Oh, I've done that. And then inform CPU of the process. Well, let's just introduce myself to various crew members as I'm wandering about. Hello. Hi, Captain. Being the botanist aboard a starship means doing a lot more than just research, so I'll be helping to produce food resources for the ship throughout the journey. Even planets like the Grey Planet can provide valuable resources we need to grow crops. 
So don't discount the items you find down there just yet. Okay, lovely. I guess, can I get through here? Alright, yes we can. So there's like a table. That's Jimmy's room. Okay, we'll get an access card probably when we get to know him well enough. And I'm guessing this is Robert's room. Yeah. Wonderful. Hi, Jimmy. What now? Oh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. You're the new captain. Well, you don't look like the other captains, but you'll have to work as hard as me to gain everyone's trust. I suppose you'll be heading down to the Grey Planet soon. Sounds kind of exciting, but I'll be stuck here if you need me. I want to go to the Grey Planet. This does have, like, Dayland vibes crossed with Stargy Valley vibes. I, I, I feel I'm feeling that. Um, I don't know what is useful for me to buy right now. So I'm not going to buy anything. That's always my way. I don't buy anything unless I know it's going to be useful. Who are you, little kid? Are you really a captain? I am, Kendall. Wow, that's cool. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Uh, no way. Oh, me neither, looks away. I was just laughing because sometimes I hear noises at night, but it's probably my imagination. My grandpa says it's because his ship is so old and needs some repairs. But he's old and doesn't make creaking sounds. <laughs> he's old and he doesn't make creaking sounds. Oh, kids, I swear. So Chip is here. I can talk to Chip. Hey, you must be the new young captain I've heard so much about. Well, welcome aboard, partner. I'm Chip, the ship's chef, and I'm usually serving things up at the canteen for the rest of the crew. My wife, Kaido, is so relieved you're here too. She's been working so hard, I barely get to see her anymore. Hopefully you can help make some improvements around here so she can slow down a little. I will be, hopefully. What's this? Bulletin board. Okie doke. Who are you? I-1900 here, programmed assistant for the family unit. You are not programmed into my directory. Scanning again. Your facial scan and fingerprints will be stored as guest user. Thank you for stopping by. Technically, a, a crew member, we've got dark matter. I don't know why there's dark matter on my floor. It's kind of terrifying. What's down here then? Oh, we can go up the stairs. I see. What's this floor then? This is crew quarters. They probably won't really be able to get in. Oh, okay. Apparently, I will. I don't know whose quarters these are. I'll probably find out if I try to go into their bedroom. At least she doesn't let me. Piper and Edward live here. But I think everyone's probably going to be doing their work at the moment. So this is the Zen Garden. Why is there a broken up bunny down here? This pet toy was absolutely demolished. I'm guessing there might be a dog on board or something? I don't know. Well, anyway, I think this level, we're probably not going to find too many people around right now, so... Um, let me remind myself on the map of where everyone is. So, Captain's Deck I don't want to go to right now. Oh, that's the bridge, I see. Science and Medical might be a good one. No, I met the medical officers, didn't I, I think. Three quarters, the plaza we've been to. We go to the engine room and the cargo bay, maybe? See if I can find anyone down here worth talking to. Hello! Hey, I'm Stephen. I live aboard with my grandparents and little sister Kendall. If you meet her, try not to mention anything about her uh, ghosts. She acts tough, but I think she's a little shaken up these days. It's not her fault, though. Things have felt creepy and isolating since we arrived at the Grey Planet. Maybe it is a ghost planet. Ooh. Let's meet the grandfather then. Hey, she lab I'm Edward, and you can usually find me tinkering in the machine shop. Ah, uh, you can probably tell things around the ship have seen better days. But if I had if I had a little help gathering supplies, I know we could make a lot of improvements. I know you also have your hands full with that grey planet. I haven't been down myself, but from what Kaida says, it's pretty barren. The last two or three captains that Space Alliance assigned to our ship didn't really show much interest in helping out around here. So I'm hoping you might be different. Piper and I like to play cards, but it seems no one else knows how to play anymore. 
Have you heard of a card game called 500? What about Yuka? Uh, nope. Uh, the search continues for more card players. I'm interested in your mini games. <laughs> Welcome to the machine shop, Captain. Would you like to schedule an upgrade for the ship? Blaster level two. I need a laser blaster. Uh, scrap metal blocks and aluminium, which I do not have. A restoration ray level two. I would need also scrap metal blocks and aluminium, which I do not have. Captain's kitchen. Scrap metal blocks seem to be a thing here. Docking station. Silver hardware parts. Stone composites. Holographic simulator. Fancy quarters. Officer quarters. Storefront quarters. Fix up the storefront quarters unit located on the main plaza deck. There's enough room for a new shop and a large family here. Okay, so we can like, get more people in here. Um, we can buy the hardware parts for enough money. Okay. But it looks to me like I'm going to need to make... be refined in a furnace to produce a scrap metal block. So, was there any anything to do with a furnace? No. Okay, well, we will be back. At the moment, we're just on introductions anyway. There's some scrap metal over here. Fuel supply and power. Yeah, let's go to the shuttle bay and have a little look around. Who are you? Hey, I'm Jinji, but I'm not really part of the crew. My family paid for my room and board, so I'm just studying remotely. No offence, but I wish they would have picked a less rundown ship. I mean, how old is this ship anyways? I'll catch you around, Shelab. Okay, nice to meet you, I guess. And then this is a shuttle. Note, Captain, I'm installing the latest firmware update on your shuttlecraft. It should be available soon, Edward. I see. Okay, and there's some more sh some, some more scrap metal up here. Oh, dark matter. Okay, and just see if I can. This vehicle docking station is out of order. I should see Edward about repairs. Very well. This is the stairs again. Why do I always go up the stairs? Oh my goodness. What is it with me and no elevators? Do we already go down here? No, this looks different. Recycled parts. I'm just trying to look around, meet people and see what see what's what's a, what's going on with the ship. Dark matter fuel. Okay. So this is like the engine room. I dust these cobwebs off. Man. Wires. What have we got up here then? So can we interact with this? A uh, bio suit rack. Always wear a protective suit when servicing the engines. Return them to the rack when finished. Don't wear suits for long periods of time and don't sleep in them. Okay. What is this? Console readings are really complicated. I think all these flashing lights mean the engines are working. Well, that's always good. Uh, can we... Squeak! <laughs> Love it. Attention to detail. Okay, let's go have a... Bridge and captain's deck. No, science and medical. Who haven't we met yet? I'm going to go up to science and medical, I think. Have I met you yet? I don't think I have. Doc 12. You must be the new captain. We've been expecting for a while now. I'm the junior medical officer and we'll be tracking your medical records throughout our journey. I do not have any additional data on your assigned mission. Awkward pause. Goodbye. Right. Let's have a look at the journal. I need to talk to Francis and Fiji, Lauren and Max, Pilot, Piper, Sprout and Stuart. Okay, where are they going to all be? Medical bay is closed. 
contact Francis for any emergency. I'm going to go back up to my quarters. And I'm going to tell CPU that I've cleaned up a bit. Because maybe that will give me something different to do other than trying to find people. I don't like trying to find people. I like just finding them as I go. Great job fixing up your deck so far. To restore areas that are too large for the restoration ray, check in with Edwards in the machine shop. 50 credits and 10 recycle parts. Seems like the work around here is never done. Still meeting the crew, are we? Ugh, I hate it when there's nothing else to do while you're meeting the crew, because it's like then you've got to go and track them down. Ah. Okay, I guess. Let's go one at a time. So we did science and medical. There wasn't many people there. It's 7 p.m. There's more chance people might be in their quarters at this point. What's this place? This place is cool. Like a botany lab thing. Sprout. Hey, Captain, I'm Sprout. Wow, you're a lot taller than I imagined. I bet you're popular. Did you know over 65% of all trainee captains drop out of the program within their first year? Since my arrival on the ship, we've had a 100% dropout rate, which is statistically impressive. Oh, not that you would... I mean, you look very capable. Ah, shoot. There goes my first impression. Oh. Pilot. Greetings, Sheila. My real name is tough for humans to pronounce, so everyone just calls me Pilot. Didn't they have a character called Pilot in something like Farscape or something? Oh, I don't know. As the nickname suggests, I'm Astral Sparrow's navigation officer. I require little rest, so you can find me here at the helm most of the time. For our mission, we are orbiting the elusive Grey Planet. CPU and I monitor all progress on the surface from the bridge. Well, you're not on the bridge right now. This looks like it's your quarters. All of these kitchen settings and appliances are set for food steaming. Observation added to crew log. They like steamed food. That's good to know. This console's been programmed to play only science, math, and brain puzzle games. Another observation. And there's also... Sprout's writing, Henry the fish. There's also a fish, so I don't think I'll be able to go in any of their rooms yet because I don't know them well enough. But we've had a little chat. Okay. Who lives next? Well, good evening, Captain. Sorry for the intrusion, but it's 8pm. I forgot to tell you. Every day at 8pm, we enter a night mode on the ship to mimic a daylight cycle for the crew and to save power. I'll let you know when it's officially lights out later, though. Bye-bye till then. Night mode. Found three scrap metal. Did I go? Oh yeah, I went in this one. I went in that one, I think. So we need to go in these three and see if we can find anybody else to talk to. Oh, someone's walking around up there. Who? Who's this? Oh, right. It's little girl. I spoke to her already. Trying to just find who I can find. Who, who, whose place is this? This is incredible. Shinji. Okay, so we have already chatted to Shinji, I think. So that's fine. Oh, there was metal or something in there that I missed. Oops. I'll just clean up this trash for you. <laughs> I hope there's a bit more background music when the real game comes out, though. It's another one a bit like Coral Island where there's not a ton of background music. Hello there, I'm Fiji. I'm getting good vibes from you. You have a kind soul. This ship has been giving off strange vibes, so I've been meditating to try and speak with the unsettled spirits. Maybe if we all work together, the Grey Planet will reveal her mystery to us. Sounds like it's a ghostly mystery. Just gonna, like, um, steal stuff out of this pot. Uh, clearly you did not want those two wires, I can tell. Alright, who have we got left now? 13 out of 18, we're looking for Francis, Lauren, Max, Piper, and Stuart. Okay, let's see if we can find any of them, if any of them are home at the moment. Kaida, remember to introduce yourself to everyone on the crew. You can open the quest tab and click on any of your quests for additional details or check your progress. Using the map tab can help you locate the living quarters of someone you're looking for. I have more to go over with you once you've met everyone. I'm going to try this last quarters. Um, Fiji's... Oh, that's Fiji's room, okay. This is Fiji's house? Yeah. Okay, I see. Right, so let's um let's use the map to look for someone. So we're gonna be looking for Francis. So Kaida. 
Hide a chip and Fiji. Pilot and Sprout. Edward, Piper and Kendall. Robert and Jimmy, who we found. Broken living quarters, broken storefront, broken living quarters. Mine. Francis and Doc 12. Oh, we haven't... Is it Francis I'm looking for? Hang on. Yes. So let's go up to uh, level two and see if we can find Francis next. Apparently taking the stairs. The nighttime mode, I think we'll be able to find more people. So let's go and see if they're in here. The lab is closed. Well, where's their quarters then? Because it said that their quarters was up here. Ah, looks like it's over, over here next to the elevator. Right. This room is locked. Okay. Oh, this room. Medical bay is closed. Contact Francis for any emergencies. Oh, nightmare. Where's their... That is their quarters up there, definitely. So we're just not able to get to it right now, which is annoying. So we'll try and find Francis maybe in the morning. Um, it's getting late now, isn't it? Lauren, Max, Piper, and Stuart. Okay, I feel like we might want to just go to bed now, honestly. If we can catch people in the morning. So we'll go back up to my... Up to the bridge. Up to my quarters. In my disgusting, horrible level. Oh look, the bin is here. Okay, nice. Shipping bin. Ready to go to sleep? This will save your game. Yes, I am ready. We didn't make any money and we did one mission. We didn't go to the Grey Planet either. Get some music in in the in the day in the night time. So now it is Monday. Get out of bed. Simulating demos. Space pack. Just a reminder: the space pack upgrades are still available at our shop. We can add more inventory slots to your space pack today. Stop on by for details and pricing. Robert, note, all sales are final. Very well. How many slots do I have in my space pack right now? Good morning, botanist. Hi, Captain. I've been looking forward to meeting with you here on the captain's deck. As the botanist and agricultural specialist on board, I've been growing the bulk of the ship's food crops. To be honest, it's a big task, but with your help, I think we can do it together. You think you'd make a good spaceship farmer? Yeah, I'll help in any way I can. Oh, thank you so much. Well, to produce anything, you'll first need to build machines. I'd love to know how to do that, yes. Machines and decorations can be crafted on your workbench. There are indoor machines like planters that will be marked with an indoor icon. And outer hull machines like solar panels that will be marked with an outer hull icon. These types of machines must be built on the outer hull. Here's a basic planter. The planters and machines won't work without power. You'll see the power icon flash when it needs power. Let's head to the outer hull and I'll show you how to generate power. Okay, so we're on the outer hull. Oh, okay, so this is also terrible looking. Uh, to generate more power, just build another solar panel to collect all the solar energy around us. The ship's HUD power will, sorry, display will also help you keep track of how much power you're generating and how much power your machines are requesting. Here, you can have the solar panel to get you started. Okay. You got a solar panel. Lovely. Let's head back inside and I'll tell you more about plants. Okay. Now that your planter is powered, just press left click on it while holding some seeds. See how easy it is? You can have the rest of the potato seeds I harvested this morning. Then gave you five potato seeds. Planted seeds will need to be watered every day until they're ready for picking. See the difference between a watered plant and a dry plant? This is the watering pack I usually use. You got a watering pack. Lovely. You 
can get new seed types from Robert in the general store. Also, any extra crops you grow can be sold to gain credits as well. Bring me some of your potatoes when they're ready. And I'll know you have the hang of things. And thank you, Captain. It's nice to have you on board. This is so, this is so Stardew in space, isn't it? Okay, so I've got all these planters here. This one isn't powered, though. Alright, let's get the potato seeds. And start planting them as much as I can in these planters. I'm guessing that one doesn't have power because it doesn't have enough of a... Uh... Enough of a solar panel going on. Let's see. Did we still have that solar panel? We do. So why don't we go out to the outer hull and see if we can get that sorted. I don't know if I can move things around either. If I can, that might be nice. Do you want to suit up and visit the outer hull? Yes. So let's have a look. We've got like a solar panel here. I'll put another one next to it. Plus four power. Five out of eight power. So this is just where I can put solar panels and various other things. I'm guessing I can maybe if I have my doofer out, yeah. Probably clear the deck up as well. Probably don't want to be spending all of my energy doing that. Because there seems to be plenty of space up here. Maybe just clear up around the solar panels a little tiny bit. But I'm thinking that maybe cleaning around my room would be the best thing to do. So let's go back inside. And I'm going to have to look at this way more. There's quite a few like footprints and purple things. You have to be really specific about where you stand with these though. Um, and also, I'm thinking I need to sort out uh, my watering pack. Maybe fill it with water, and then maybe water these things. So I'm clean up around here, make it pretty. And then we're going to go and try and find the other people that I need to find today. So we need to find Francis, who will probably be on the medical deck. And then I'll start working out where I'm likely to find the other people. I've already found Dock 12, so... That area is looking nicer. These are the scrap blocks, aren't they? Ah! And get rid of those, interestingly enough, but not these. I think these are... Oh no, those are okay, but these bigger ones I can't get rid of. They're like the equivalent of the big logs and things in like something like Stardew Valley, Coral Island, that sort of thing. It plays just like a farming game. It really does. Okay, that's my last one I'm going to do for today. What be this? Oh, this is my workbench. I can make a storage bin. I can make new planters. I can make new solar panels if I have enough scrap metal. I can make recyclers. Uh, converting unwanted junk material into new resources. Place one foraged item, microbe, or piece of garbage into the machine. And a composting machine. And a furnace. If I could get some stone, I would have some furnaces. So maybe there might be some stone out on the deck up top. We'll have to see. But in the meantime, I'm just going to quickly go and uh, find the elevator and go and see if I can find a few more of the people that I need to talk to. So we're going to start on level two and see if we can find Francis. That's Kaida, I think. Are you Francis? You look like you might be. I haven't seen you before, whoever you are, so... That's Piper. Well, aren't you a sturdy young thing? Nice to meet you, Sheila. I'm Piper. 
I've been aboard this ship for many years and my family knows the ins and outs. This ship might be old, but they don't make them like this anymore. Social coordinator. So basically busybody old lady. <laughs> she just needs someone to give her a little attention. Maybe one thing. One day, sorry, things will get better around here. I'm already on it. I'm already starting the process. So where would Francis be? I'm going to not be too worried about picking things up and I'm going to be more worried about finding people, I think. That must be Francis. Hi. And there's like a medical shop. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new captain, of course. I'm Francis, chief medical officer. You could come see me in the clinic anytime you need help. My daughter is also a junior medical officer on board. She's around here somewhere. Oh, and be careful down on that grey planet. I swear, the last captain was reckless on purpose just so he could get reassigned to a fancier post. Right, so we've done Francis now. We've met Francis. So where am I likely to find other people? Yeah, I'm already growing the crops. I need to grow three potatoes and give them to Lynn. That's fine. Meet the crew. Um, so next is Lauren, Max, and Stuart. Oh, it's only three left. Okay, cool. Where am I likely to find them then? Crew. Uh, so they are not showing up yet. Okay. Let's go down to the plaza and see if anyone is around in the plaza that I haven't met yet. Got the bot, we've got Chip. Anybody having breakfast or anything like that? No. I've been in here before. Let me just double check. I have not. So who are you? Are you Lauren? Yes. Hi there, I'm so happy we finally have a new captain. I'm Lauren and I help keep people in shape around here. Oh, this is the gym. Rock climbing, weights, yoga, a little bit of everything for everyone. We used to have some cool programs in the Hollow Sim too, but that broke a long time ago. Actually, it's been a while since anyone has really bothered fixing anything up around here. Sometimes my brother struts around and acts like he's captain. Are you seem more capable? Oh, my brother? Yeah, good luck with him. <laughs> is your brother around? Is anyone in the gym right now? Has a full on climbing wall. Intermediate climbing routes 51A and 511B. Water, there's like a recycling thing. Wow, cool. Right, so we found Lauren. Wonderful. Oh, you are someone I have not met yet. Stuart, high roll. So, new captain, huh? Lead engineer, right. I bet you don't know the first thing about this ship's inner workings or how to fix any of the components around here. Well, that would be because it's your job. This is exactly why everything's so run down. Newbie captains who don't want to take care of an older ship. Just leave it to me as usual. <sighs> what a joke. So we've met Stuart. So we've just got one person left, I think, which is Max. Where would Max be? Do I know you? That's Chip. We've been stationed on the ship for many years. My wife really loves the adventure and I love to see her happy. Oh, bless. How oh, cute. Uh, where am I likely to find? Let's try recreation, maybe. I don't know who Max is or what Max does, so it can be a bit more difficult. So, I've met you guys. What's this? Ah, Max, are you the robot? I haven't met you. Yes. Well, hello, SheLab. It is lovely to make your acquaintance. You're the education android. The android teacher. Oh, so cute. I'm mechanical android number 10, but everyone calls me Max. I'm also the designated educational instructor and run our school program. I'm not directly involved in your primary mission, but I can be a useful source of statistical and analytical data. You can stop by the classroom if you'd like to learn something. Very well. We have met all the peeps now, so I need to return to Kaida, who is likely, I saw in the medical wing, but... I love to get this quest out of the way though, because, oh, It's annoying otherwise. Found three hardware parts. There's like a whole greenhouse in here, this is wonderful. 
That is gorgeous. I don't think I can interact with any of the, like, the planters or anything. Probably I can only do it with the stuff on my level. Who lives in here then? Lynn. Ah, oh, of course, the botanist. That makes sense. Well, I don't think Hyde is down here, so I will go back up to the medical wing, which is the last place I saw Kaida, and see if she's still around. Was it in here? So let's see. It's still in here? No. I have to run around finding her. Okay. Let's try either the plaza or the... Yeah, let's try the plaza. Um... Then I'll try my deck. I'll try the crew deck. Maneki Neko looks happy. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm gonna head up to the bridge. See if anyone's up there. Ah, that's where you were. Great job, Captain. I'm glad to see you've met everyone. Remember to check in with your crew often. They may need help or can offer you advice from time to time too. In fact, I think Edward just mentioned that your shuttlecraft should be up and running now. You can use it to travel down to the Grey Planet and start investigating the relic. I've been researching the elements on the surface to see if I can make any scientific connections. So far though, I haven't picked up anything significant. But before you head down, let me give you some tools to take with you. And this shovel is useful to dig up sandy areas on the surface. Got a shovel. Lovely. And take this laser blaster to break up rocks or defend yourself from any aggressive critters you may run into. And a laser blaster. I'm going to stay on board and continue my research in the lab. Head to the shuttle bay when you're ready and Edward will meet you there. Good luck, she lab. Right then, so I've got a, quite a bit of room, but I'm going to put, uh, I think, most things away. So what I think I want to do is see if I can move things around a bit. Ah, we've got no room at all. So I think the shovel and the restoration ray uh, I can recycle things. Oh, this is a nightmare. Okay. What do I not want? Everything looks useful though. Please recycle or make room. Darn it. I guess I have to recycle it. How annoying. Right, so let's put some things in my chest. Because that was what I was going to do next. I wasn't expecting to pick up quite so much stuff or for my inventory to be quite so small. So I will bear that in mind before I'm going off to the surface. Ah, it looks like that fifth potato planter is ready to go now. I put that second uh, solar panel down. Wonderful. So let's take away. I don't need a watering pack. Potato seeds. Any of this. I probably do need a laser blaster. I probably need a restoration ray and I probably need a shovel. That makes total sense. Okay. Um, it looks like that might need a water. A dead plant, yes. And then maybe... I'm glad it isn't. Maybe water the plant? I think it might just be a bit too dead, maybe. I, I didn't know I needed to water that. But okay, maybe we can replace that with something better. And there's a torn painting there as well that probably could do with a bit of... Oh yeah, let's plant my potato. I water it and then we can 
I might take my watering pack down. I don't know what I'm going to find down there, though. Not sure. Can I move these about? Hmm. But I really want to. Or maybe I could put more, like, planters in or I, I don't know move that one somehow I might need to take them down and, and replace them or something to make them prettier but at the moment that's not a necessary thing I don't think I'm going to need watering so I'm going to go down to the planet without watering I don't know what I'm going to be able to pick up down there and my inventory is tiny So maybe I'll also see how much extra infantry slots of Roberts are going to cost as well. Ah, that's not the elevator. Stop, she lab, stop. Okay. So down to the plaza. We'll have a quick look and see if we can get... We're entering night mode. What? <sighs> okay, plaza. I think that... When you enter night mode, all the shops shut. It's a bit of a nightmare. I take too long to do everything, clearly. Uh, yeah. Shut for the day. Register is closed. Okay, I'll go down to the shuttle bay and see if I'm allowed to go down to the surface or if I need to sleep for the night before that can happen. It is fine either way. Okay, running is the default, I see. There's also a bulletin on the bullet bulletin board. Three minerals to Francis. Five days to do it. I can try. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see. And then. So dinner time's a good time to catch them all. Around eight o'clock. Let's go to the cargo in Shuttle Bay and see if Edward will still talk to me about that. Hey, Shilab, over here. I wanted to welcome you to the shuttle bay. This is your personal shuttlecraft right here. Wow. Feel free to take it down to a planet's surface whenever we're in orbit. Going down and gathering materials found on the surface is a necessary part of our community, so you'll probably be doing it a lot. These new fan shuttle models look... Oh, sorry, sure look spiffy, don't they? Click. Oh my! She packs quite a punch, huh? Do you see an off switch? Err. Uh, Purrs like a kitten, doesn't it? Clears it is. <laughs> anyway, how the uh, great night is waiting for you when you feel like exploring. That relic down there is a real mystery so far and has Kaida completely stumped. Good luck and smooth sailing, Captain. My thoughts are I probably won't have time before lights out to go down there. Um, but I will want to sleep and go down there first thing in the morning. Who's his dad? Shinji's racer? Wow! I want a cool one like that. <laughs> oh no, I found the stairs again. Why would they do this to me? Oh, can't I go all the way up to level one? Alright then. I'll try and find the elevator from here then. I just want to go to sleep. So I can go to the grey planet in the morning. It'd be lovely if I could show you that by the end of the uh, episode. I would be very happy. So we have met everybody on board. We've uh, had a look at all the different deck levels. We've worked out how to clean up a little bit. Haven't had too much time to do too much of that. Actually, I want to give me an item. So I'll just hold the item over your head and press click. Oh, okay. I see. Not at the moment. I feel bad for my dead plant, though. I, like I say, I didn't know I had to water that. So we are going to start day three and we're going to go down to... We did three active missions. Um, or we have three active missions, maybe.
We didn't deposit anything into bin bots. We can look at that in more detail if we need to. And tomorrow morning we're going to go straight to the grey planet after I've watered my potatoes. Here we are on day three. Morning. Simulating day mode. Right, so I would like to grab my watering thing and water the potatoes. See how they're doing? Oh, look, they're little tiny sprouts now. Yay! And so I imagine that we would slowly get more technical with this. Slowly open up new places. It would be wonderful. Okay, so I think I want to put that back away. I don't think I'm going to want to water anything down on the planet. I think we want to take the shovel, the restoration ray, and the laser blaster. Might not even need the restoration ray, but I will take it just in case. And we're going to go straight down to the shuttle bay and straight down to the planet, I think, today. Do we have any other missions? Go to the Grey Planet, do some investigating, grow the crops, and acquire minerals. Okay, well that's fine because uh, maybe I'll find minerals on the planet. Oh, and it looks like pilots there piloting as well at the helm. Everyone's actually where they should be at this point in time. <laughs> right, let's go in my shuttle and uh, and go down to the planet. And that's the last place that we haven't really seen so far. I believe there might be more than one planet to explore in this. So we're going to go down to the relic. Whee! <laughs> my little space shuttle. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous game. So this is the grey planet. Lovely. Nice to see you, grey planet. Boom! <laughs> grey planet. Let's have a little look. Dig site marker, 105, Kaida. I can dig things with my shovel here, I'm guessing. And I may find a thing. Yes, I did. Okay. So what have we got over here then? <laughs> Let's not dig things. Okay. Let's just have a look around at things. Um, this is a little rover. It looks very dusty and well used. A Space Alliance mobile research pod. Standard issue for on-site testing needs. Okay. So is this the way to the relic? It looks like it might be. Okay, so I think this might be the relic? Let's see. Totally no alien ghosts in this relic. No. Not at all. It's got five hearts on it. And it looks like a, a possibly a small star map or something. Have a look at the sign. Yes, this is the relic. We click on the relic. Oh, it did a thing. Maybe I should. Oh, I try. It's like I tried to power up. Uh, how would you even pronounce that? No idea. What am I supposed to be doing down here? Look for clues. Well, I want to like look for whatever I can look for without blasting too much away. So we'll look around. Scrap metal. Who are you? You're a rock with eyes. Why do you have eyes? Pet rock. Oh, I'm going to put that in my house. Because totally getting a pet rock and putting it in your house will never go wrong, right? It will never turn into some, like, sneaky alien that's trying to get into your quarters and, like, eat you alive. That would never happen. More scrap metal. Oh, 
So I'm like, what? <laughs> what clues am I looking for then? North, mysterious relic. I click on it again just in case. Unless I get saying it doesn't have enough power or something. We get around here. What that clues is it expecting me to know about? Five credits, oh that'll do. some stone. Okay, I needed that for something. Well, since we're carrying around stone anyway, let's blast some stone. I can't get down here, though. I already went along here, didn't I? And there was nothing. Let's see what I find. That is aluminium ore. at all frustrating to navigate around this area. Is there a map of this? No, there is not. Only of the ship, so I have to explore around here. Fun times. So how to get up and down is going to be uh, an interesting one. I'm blasting rocks. Doesn't seem to really be throwing anything up, does it? I could dig at this dig site. Dark matter. I'm gonna run out of space. Arr. What are my clues meant to be looking like? What am I meant to do to find clues? Soil sample. Okay. My space pack is full. Yes, I know. Doesn't precisely amuse me. So going down there just takes me down this way. And I can go down here. I mean, there's a cave over here. Maybe I could blast into the cave. Most of the stuff stacks, right? I could recycle the trash, couldn't I? Okay, found a secret cave. With a dude in there. CPU Captain, where are we? It's kind of dark in here, don't you think? Wait, who is that? We found an alien! Captain, look, this may be our chance at first contact. Uh oh, watch me, I can handle the introductions. Oh, oh, I think. Greetings, inhabitants of the great planet. We are travellers from a... Ah! <laughs> he ran away. Wait, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Oh, I know. Let me try some different language pattern programmed in my directory. Click, click, clickety-click. Beep, beep, boop, beep. Bark, bark, grunt, grumble. Oh, that one worked. <laughs> suit, suit. Captain, I think I did something. Oh my, he's all covered in dirt. I wonder why this little one is all alone. Suit, suit. Blah, 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 blah. Gobble, suit. Blah, blah, blah. Suit. Pop, suit. Gobble, blah, blah. suit, suit. Mm, uh, I think it said something about soot. Wait, what does that mean? Hey little guy, is your name Soot? Or are you just covered in Soot? Soot Soot! 
Oh, he looks pretty upset. I'm very hungry. Who knows how long he's been here without very much food? Um, let's help him. We're in si so in sync already. What a team we make. Who knows, maybe with a full belly he can help us learn more about the relic too. We should start producing some food right away, but let's report back to Kaida first. She should have some more useful information to help you get started. Hang tight, so we'll be back soon. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> Okay, report back to Kaido with your discovery and discuss a plan to help Soot. So that was clearly where I was meant to go. Fantastic. Because I wasn't really finding anything else down there. I'd blast a few more things. If I have enough stone, I can make a furnace. Which might be kind of cool. That's super fun though. Super fun! Super fun study in space! <laughs> Let's go back to Kaida. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop playing in a minute though. Maybe we'll be able to help Soot before the end. I'll have to see. This is already going up super late as it is. I'm, I'm feeling a bit under the weather lately and it's sort of made me a little bit less uh, able to get things out on time I'm trying my hardest I really am so okay let's go into number six back to I'll go back up to the bridge sometimes Kaida's up there if not we'll have to look around no no one up here right now it's 5 30 so there's a good chance people might be Having their dinner. Let's have a check. That's exactly where they are. So I'm getting an idea of how to find people a bit better now. Captain, I heard you made an amazing discovery. CPO told me everything about the hidden cave and soot sleeping inside. It does open a lot more questions, doesn't it? But I'm glad you've decided to prioritise helping soot above all else. Since we don't know much about soot or his diet, Chip suggested we bring him a couple of different food options to start. Chips updated your mission log with his food recommendations. If you need more materials to build planters, pilot and I scanned the Grey Planet and found new uncharted areas that are sure to be full of un uh, sorry, to be full of useful resources. I've programmed these new areas into your shuttlecraft, so feel free to start exploring. Okay, good luck, Captain. I'll handle ship duties up here while you get to work. Grey Planet exploring available. You can now use your shuttlecraft to explore new areas on the Grey Planet. Your shuttlecraft will save checkpoints as you explore. Perfect. I'm going to go back up to my um, chest, basically. <laughs> I need to put all this stuff away. My inventory is super full. And at the moment, I really don't know what's useful, what isn't. I'm guessing I will get to learn that as I go along. So we're just going to put these bits away. I'm sad that I had to get rid of all of my other dark matter. But I should be able to make chests, and it looks like you can go between chests as well. Which is always good. Different sorts. Uh, high and low value. Um, being able to label chests is always useful as well. It doesn't look necessarily like I can do that just now. Oh, or is that just to change the colour on the chest? It is, isn't it? Okay, so we can't... There's no linked inventory. I love linked inventory. It's an amazing thing in any game. Um, I did water these guys before I went out this morning. So we are at the moment trying to just make potatoes. I need to give three of them away and I could use two of them maybe to feed soot. Let's have a look at my emissions. Three corn, three soybeans, and two food ration. Oh, that would probably take longer than we've got in this episode, I think. Three minerals. Okay, so Francis needs minerals, but we don't have minerals right now. Uh, okay. Oh, wrong one. Still a little bit tidying up.
I did want to go down and see Robert at some point to see if I could increase my inventory and how much that costs. It's a good thing to know in a game like this how much that's going to cost. <laughs> that's quite fun actually, isn't it? Tidy it up. I, I'm definitely wanting this area tidied as much as possible. Going into night mode now. Like I say, I'm still not certain how to how to change up the uh, planters, but never mind. Look at my up here so I can make more planters if I have more scrap metal and soil samples okay right so we can find those on the planet and then we can get more planters going uh, my furnace will take 20 scrap metal and 64 stone that's going to take quite a lot so I need to go and just harvest loads of stone down on the grey planet for that one so I'm gonna just go to sleep see what happens in the morning but I think we are probably going to have to wrap this up pretty soon, so... We will save the game, go to bed, and see if anything interesting happens in the morning. We're still not really selling much at the moment. But I think we've had a really good look at this so far, and it's been really super fun. So I will have a quick look at my mail, see what's going on. Healthy living. Energy tonic. Did you know you can replenish your energy by taking one of my medicine tonics? Just press right click on yourself while holding an item to use it. These tonics can keep you working late if you need an extra boost. Don't overdo it. Okay. Ooh. So, the little bin comes out every morning. Um, I've got loads of... Actually, I'm going to put stuff away. I need to find a way to increase my inventory space. So I'm going to go and have a look at Robert's store today. I'm going to put a few things away in the meantime. So I will take out my waterer. I'm going to put away my shovel and my laser blaster for now. And if I go to the Grey Planet, I'll take those with me. Hopefully I can be a bit less uh, worried about Infantry space, I'm sorry, increase it a bit. But it might cost a lot, you never know. Don't know how much water this holds. I can't see a water meter anywhere. Seems okay for now though, so I'm not going to worry about it. But yeah, it'd be nice when I can fix this whole thing and have it full of machines and planters and all sorts. It's... Let's see how big it is actually. If I can. We have quite a bit of space, don't we? And then that's the stairs. Okay. That goes all the way over here. It's massive. So I can only imagine there's quite a lot of things that we can do here. Probably tree planters we'll have. We'll probably have plant planters because they're quite small compared to the space. So we'll have lots of plants and we'll have like production lines and maybe, I don't know, conveyor belts and machines and all sorts. Okay, so I've watered my plants and I wanted to just go and see the shop tonight and then I think after that we're gonna just... There wasn't any particular um, amazing new thing that happened overnight there so I think we'll just then wrap the episode up once I can tell you how to increase your inventory because I think that's important. <laughs> Jimmy out there being a good son, sweeping up the, the concourse. Hey Robert, I heard you're going to venture to other parts of the Grey Planet and look for valuable resources. And I'm certainly interested in moving any resources you might find. Cool. Let's uh, have a look at your shop. Welcome to the general store. Items for purchase are on display or you can sell your items here. So I can sell by dropping things into the box. So what was the deal with increasing my backpack? Oh, here we are. Backpack 
uh, for 500 coins, you can upgrade your backpack. So I'd probably be going down to the surface, getting lots and lots and lots of uh, stone and minerals and all that sort of thing. And then selling those either back to Robert or putting them in the bin to sort them out. But that, I think, my friends, is where I'm going to end the episode for now. So this is a really, really cool game. I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it's got a lot of... Um, a lot of playability is going to have a lot of uh, machines and things to put in your your deck upstairs i'm enjoying the the, the spaceship idea of it i think it's uh, something i may well if it does well on the channel have a good look into when it does come out so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome